بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم و صلات و سلام علی رسول الله صلی الله علیه و سلم السلام علیکم تو ایوان نبی hope everyone's fine the prophet um, صلی الله علیه و سلم that all of my ummah may be forgiven except those who broadcast their sins those who publicly sin before social media we people used to sin but the difference between now and social media is that your sins before social media before we had we had facebook instagram twitter whatever the sins that you did most of the time they only they only affected they were between you and Allah and they didn't affect anyone else like in your own house or in your own room or whatever and so forth before social media yeah generally if you did something whether it was a person listening to music whether it was a person um i don't know whether it's a person doing zina whether it's a person swearing whether it's a person uh you know rapping to themselves <laughs> try, trying to be a rapper and talk about drugs and shit and drugs and stabbing people and killing people if it's a sister trying to do modeling or whatever so forth the only people you were really affecting generally yeah yeah was yourself in your obviously in your house or in your room with social media the problem is now with social media is everyone has been given kind of like their own bbc and um itv news studio yeah to speak to the whole world once you've got a phone in your hand yeah or you've got a pc or you've got a tablet you have you have the ability to talk to talk and influence people all over the world well i hear so uh, a clip i was shot somewhere in the middle east yeah where basically they went to a mud hut they went to a mud hut where people were living in huts yeah and the little girls there the little girls there and unfortunately you know it was like little muslim girls and stuff uh they were dancing to like 50 cent music now they might not have a clue what the lyrics were but the fact that these people they may probably didn't have electricity they just could afford batteries and they put in the radio they knew the songs they they knew the like choruses and stuff cuz what happened 50 cent must have um done something with the un and he went out and he was giving out a charity and all this stuff and and basically went to this place that they they were starving for food and stuff but they had all the little girls started cheering around him it was sad for me it was upsetting because it was like those little hijabi girls they knew who 50 cent was and they were singing this song it's your birthday and all this and I was like if they only knew what the other lyrics of that song said and music is for all for anyone that's watching board who is watching I'm, I was on board in my family are not muslim I'm convert to islam and so forth but the point i'm trying to say is that every single one of us when social media came out yeah we were given the ability yeah to affect sins all over the world in iceland somewhere in a little igloo someone someone was probably got like a phone or whatever or a radio or something yeah or whatever it is and you can affect them So the point I'm saying is that the prophet said all of my ummah may be forgiven except those who broadcast their sins. Yeah? All of my ummah may be forgiven except those uh what is it? Yeah. All of my ummah may be forgiven except those who broadcast their sins. Broadcast can mean um public, publicize, you know, promote whatever, whether they're seen publicly on in public outside or whether it's on social media, yeah? So the thing that if we want to get to Jenna yeah if we want to get to Jenna one thing we have to do yeah we have to be ashamed of our sins like me I'm not a mutmin I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not being modest when I think this that and so forth you know like I said if I was to die right now my bad deeds would be out way my good deeds yeah you know and I'm not some super muslim that does all their sunnah and fast every single man uh, monday and thursday I'm, i i I don't portray myself like that yeah inshallah i try and stay away from the major haram things yeah like you know out was like smoking drinking zina these kind of things and so forth and so forth but i've got i've got a lot of sins anyway yeah but the thing is this i know one thing is that the only way i'm going to escape jahannam yeah 
The only way I'm going to have to escape Jahannam is if, is, is if Allah has mercy on me. If it comes up to telling good deeds and bad deeds and so forth, Allah well, my bad deeds most probably far away my good deeds. But the thing is this, there's certain hadiths that I've come across, like the Prophet saying that all of my Omar will be forgiven, as if those who broadcast their sins, yeah? That lets me know that that if my good deeds don't outweigh my good deeds, and even if they do, then there's certain things I can't do, yeah? If I want not to, not to touch the hellfire, yeah? And that's what is shocking now with social media, because people do not give a damn. Nowadays, people do not give a damn. For example, I don't know how many of you know about TikTok, but TikTok is changing the culture of Muslims. Wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. That's a whole different lecture, and I'm going to do a whole different lecture on that. But TikTok, Instagram was, is like that, a bit, yeah? You know, when you go to the main page of Instagram, yeah? It's either, you know, like brothers, you know what I'm saying? With, like, with, <laughs> no top or no this, that, and the other, trying to, tight tops trying to show their muscles and this, that, and the other. Sisters with a bunch of makeup and tight, a beige trying to show off their body and stuff like this and so forth. And TikTok is just like a, psh, a whole different world. They're both bad. They're both bad. TikTok, psh. TikTok is basically just um, brothers with beard, brothers in phobes, yeah, or brothers with no top on, you know, dancing, swearing, singing about sex, sisters in hijab. Singing about sex, talking about singing about sexual positions, swearing. It's just that hadith, all of my Omar, yeah, may be forgiven, may be forgiven, except those who broadcast the sins. Wallahi, they just need to flood TikTok with that. Because, well, like, people just don't give a damn now. People talking about brothers singing with no top on about all the sex, sisters in a hijab singing about all the sex. But that's all. I don't want to get divert, I don't want to get taken off topic here. But Basically, the point I'm trying to say is that anyone who's like me, who knows, who who um, who ha has shortcomings, yes, who has shortcomings, and um, wants to be forgiven, there's certain things we can't do, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So basically, um, some of them things are this because. When we sin in Islam, there's certain things called, like, there's certain things we have to do to be forgiven, yeah? So, for example, there's four conditions of Tawbah, yeah? There's four conditions of Tawbah. Um, the first one is, is that if you do something wrong, you got to feel sorry about it, yeah? The second one is uh, you have to ask forgiveness for it, yeah? The third one, uh, third one is... Um, you have to stop the sin and try and stop other sins. And the fourth one is if any property or anything was damaged and so forth, then you have to replace it or the financial cost of it, yeah? Now, the thing is this year is that if you post your... If we post our sins to social media, yeah, it's a... Basically, you're, you're, you're showing off. Like, basically, there is no reason... Yeah, and there's no reason for them to for you to post you doing haram or posting haram, yeah, to social media. Like, I'm on all these apps trying to do my project, trying to call Muslims, you know, to, like, to deen and stuff, yeah, and so forth. There is no reason. I don't care whether you're in the West. I don't care. There's no reason, yeah, for any brother or sister to upload haram or them sinning, yeah, on social media. For example... Brothers and sisters on Instagram, you know, you know, who upload these videos, just I don't, it's just flirting, basically walking in slow motion, brother with no top on, or sister in spider woman that they are showing off all her body parts and this. Like, why? This is my question for you, people who's watching. If you're watching, yeah, why is it not enough, yeah, for you to just, yeah, do your little cheap, shameless videos in the mirror, yeah, or on your phone in private? Why do you have to? Why do you have to upload it, yeah, to public platforms with millions? Why? See, you see these people, it's not just that, because people call people Haram police. That's another thing. You know, when you call people Haram police, you're not insulting the, um, 
you know, insulting the, the Muslim that tells you that what you're doing is haram, or tells you to fear Allah, tells you to do the vigil. You're not insulting them, you're insulting the Prophet. Because the only reason why people with certain Muslims, yeah, either make, tell people in the comments to take down their video or delete their video, or the only reason why people make videos against people who are openly doing haram and stuff like that, is not, if, if the Prophet didn't say, yeah, if you see an evil action, yeah, try and stop it with your hand. If you can't, try and stop it with your tongue, yeah? And if you can't, hate it in your heart. And that's the lowest level, yeah, of Iman. If the Prophet didn't say that, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, nobody would say it. So when you insult someone who says to you, either take down that vigil, brother, dancing with no top on, or take off that, take out that, uh, take down that vigil, sister, where you're dancing and playing shaitan's music, um, and so forth, yeah? If you you when you insult them, then if that insult goes yeah past them, past them, and to the prophet, because they are only obeying yeah, they are only doing it because the the prophet told them, yeah. Now, but the thing is this: the question is this, yeah, who is the problem? Who is the actual problem? You know, when people call people haram police, who who is the problem? Is it a person that advised them who upload the haram video, yeah? Or is it a person that was sitting at home? Because you brothers and sisters that are doing these haram videos, yeah? You brothers and sisters that are doing these haram videos, you know you're in your home. Shaitan comes to you and says, let me upload a video, yeah? Like either, you know, swearing or doing some sexual dance or this, that, never Memorising all these late, latest Cardi B songs and well, Nicki Minaj and Steph London and Pop Smoke and all this crap, yeah? No disrespect to him, the... The brother, but his music is behind, and everyone's singing it, mood and Quran. Yeah, the thing is this year. The point I'm trying to say is that who's the problem? You have a brother, you have a brother or sister at home. Yeah, Shaitan comes to them and says, "Let's make let's make a video." Yeah, like either swearing or or dancing to some Haram Shaitan tune. Yeah, you get up, you know, before you make the video. Yeah, you know while you make the video, and you know after. After you upload the video, yeah, it's wrong. You know that already. You just don't give a damn. You see, the thing is, you don't just want to sin. You don't just want to do haram, yeah, yeah. Because no one would give a monkey's uncle, yeah, if you did a million or a trillion cheap videos, yeah, brother with no top on or sister in hijab, yeah, in a mirror. No one would give a monkey's uncle because it doesn't affect no one and it doesn't make Islam look bad and it doesn't affect. Other Muslims here, yeah? no one will give a thing, but you don't just want to do haram. You want to upload it to millions and show the world, I'm disobeying Allah and I do not care. What type of heart and mind do you have to have? What kind of heart and mind do you have to say that I don't just want to do haram? Because you can do haram all day in your mirror or on your phone in private. You can do that, but no, you, you want likes for it, you want what is it? Comments on it, especially from the opposite gender, praising you. And you want, yeah, and you want people to share it. Now, don't tell me, is that not an evil person? I'm not saying I'm good. I'm a wretch here. I'm not saying I'm good at this, that, and the other. But I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a good person. I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a mu'min. A mu'min is from the Hadith of Jibril where Allah says, there's uh, that, that, it says that, what is it? Islam, uh, uh, that, Islam is basically to worship Allah, yeah, as you see him, even though you don't see him. That's where I want to go, and that's where we should all want to go, that we worship Allah, that there's no haram in our lives, we look at the minor things as major, and so forth, and this, that, and that. So, I'm not a mu'min, I'm not nothing special, inshallah, that's where I want to be. But there's one thing, you will never know what my sins are, yeah, because I'm ashamed of them, yeah. And inshallah, I will never affect another believer, yeah. Iman, inshallah. Like, I would never intentionally post something, yeah, that can give another Muslim, yeah, the option to disobey Allah. But anyway, the point I'm just the point I'm trying to make here is that um these Muslims, yeah, they don't just want to sin. They want to sin, yeah, get likes for it. Yeah, gets views for it, get comments from the opposite gender praising how attractive they are, yeah, and they want people to share it. Selfish. Wallahi, wallahi, you're selfish. Wallahi, man. Like, like, 
there's no reason. No one can give me. I don't care. There's no reason, yeah. There's no reason for you. There's no reason you can give me, yeah, for for why you have to upload haram or you sitting yeah to social media. No reason. There's no reason. Why not just do it in a room? Why not just do it on your phone in private? Nah, you you want to get praised for your sin, and also yeah. This thing about us between me and Allah. No, it's not between you and Allah. It stopped being between you and Allah when you pressed upload. Yeah? It stopped being between you and Allah when you pressed upload to Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or whatever it is. Yeah? And as for the thing that says only Allah can judge me, there's a verse in the Quran that says, yeah, first of all, we have the Hadith of the Prophet. That only God, God could judge me, just throw it in a trash can, man. Like, we don't want no two-pack lyrics in our deen. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, there's a verse in the Quran, yeah, that says, so judge them with the Quran and the Sunnah and don't let them deviate you. There's a verse that actually says that, yeah. And I'm going to edit the video later and put it in there. But everyone knows the, the famous hadith where the Prophet said, the Prophet said that if you see an evil action, either try and stop it with your hands. Yeah, if you can't do that, then the next best thing is to try and stop it with your tongue. And if you can't do that, you know, the, the lowest thing you can do or, or the, the worst thing you can do is what is, um, is hate it in your heart. Not say is is to hate it in your heart. And that's the lowest level of human. So really, the, the captain, the captain and the chief of Haram police is the messenger of Allah, you know? And you know what annoys me the most? What annoys me the most, yeah, is I can see all your comments, inshallah, and you can leave them, inshallah. I'll read out your comments. If there's any questions, leave them, and at the end of my segment, I'll get to them. But, you know, when I get to the end of my segment, leave your questions, leave your comments and so forth on the YouTube stream, on the Instagram tree, um, stream and so forth. And inshallah, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll read them all at the end, inshallah. But the point I'm trying to say is that this only God can judge me thing and so forth. Then yeah, that's the point I want to make. The mo one of the most annoying things for me, yeah, is the comment section. Ah, these people in the comment sections, ah, they are so annoying. Like, there will be a brother or sister, like, the brother's got a name like Ibrahim or, or Yusuf or Isa, or, like, like, everyone knows who's Muslim anyway. People know you're Muslim by your facial features, by your, the country you're from, like, people know that, people know you're Muslim. Like, the thing is, is that whether you like it or not, once you put, you do something on social media, you go on social media. Once, once you open up on social media, once you do a video on social, whatever you do on social media, whether you like it or not, you're a role model as a Muslim. Whether you like it or not, the exchange was, the exchange was Allah gave you Islam, yeah? Allah gave you Islam, yeah? And you got the haq. You got a way to Jannah through your mother and father that you, you got to, you don't have to do no searching, yeah? And the flip side of that is that, that, you know better than everyone else, yeah, in this life, yeah, and you have to be responsible in public. Whether you're religious, whether you're not religious, you was born into the huck, yeah, and a de and a, and a side fix of that is that that you're responsible. Don't like it? Cool. Would you rather not know the truth and not be born into Islam and stuff and do all the haram and be misguided and just die and go to Jahannam forever? People, when they see you on social media, are brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, when certain people see you on social media and they see your facial features they see a muslim yeah whether you be arab whether you be you know um pakistani whether you be somalian whether you be what is it moroccan algerian you know what i'm saying you know whether you be black african <laughs> certain places and so forth and the thing is like people like me don't think yeah don't think that people are not clued up. People know you're, whether you're Muslim or not. Geographically, they can tell by your face and this, that, and the other. So people are not dumb. My friends before Islam and this, that, and the other, uh, they, a lot of them weren't the best of people. We did a lot of bad stuff and this, that, and the other. Because I became Muslim and I left them and I explained to them, I can't go raving with you no more. I'm Muslim now. We can't free mix. We can't drink, smoke, this, that. Like, I've explained to people, yeah, you come from the streets who I used to hang around with and stuff like that. Why I don't rave, why I don't smoke weed, why we don't do this. I've explained to them 
certain countries are Muslim black, but lots of converts coming from places where you don't know, yeah, whether it's the corporate world, whether it's the criminal world, whatever it is, yeah, they've, they've gone on a path where they used to be tight with people every day, whether it's smoking weed, drinking, watching music videos, or this, that, whatever, whether it was, I don't know, making billion dollar deals, or what is it, speaking with presidents, pres whatever it is, and they've explained to people why now as a Muslim they can't do A, B and C and this. Thing. People are not, trust me, I'm telling you, man, you might see a boy on the road who looks like, or a girl on the road, you know, in miniskirt and this, that and the other. She's had somebody in her family close to her, family or friends who's become Muslim, who was like doing exactly what she's doing from the same kind of life of her. And they've explained to her, okay, as Muslims, uh, we don't mix, with, we don't have friends of the opposite gender. We don't, you know what I'm saying, deal with interest. We don't, like, They've had it. So you you can so the point is is that when you're on social media, yeah, you don't have a choice whether you want to be a role model or not. It doesn't matter whether you're not religious, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're not religious or you are religious or or whatever whatever you want to say, it doesn't matter. It's 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 irrelevant, yeah. The thing is is that people are watching you, yeah. People are watching you and um you have to act accordingly. So. <sighs> yeah, so. Mm -hmm. When you choose to upload, yeah, like I said, I, inshallah, I want to be forgiven on your Miyoki Yoma Kiyama. I don't want to touch the hellfire, not for one second, yeah? I don't want to touch the hellfire for not even one second, yeah? Um, if I upload my sins or you upload your sins to social media, you're showing off. Of course you're showing off. Of course you're showing off. Because when you upload... When you press upload to Twitter or when you press upload to TikTok or Instagram or whatever, yeah, you're showing the whole world. You're saying to the whole world, look, I know you know that, you know, I know you know that me dancing and swearing and singing about sex and listening to all these songs are haram, the non-Muslims, the Muslims, that I know you know it's haram, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to upload it to a platform with millions, yeah, and I'm going to show me swearing, I'm going to show me singing sexually, I'm going to show me dancing sexually. I don't care. I know Allah's watching, I know he's he can hear it, I, I know Muslims can see itself, but I just don't care, yeah. But the thing is, yeah, is that you can't say on the Day of Judgment, yeah, you can't say on the Day of Judgment that this was an accident. You knew before you made the video, while you made the video, and after you made the video, yeah, you knew, yeah, this is wrong, and you still uploaded it. Even now, you've made her own videos, you've uploaded it. Yeah, dancing and swearing and stuff like this. Like, it's got so bad. It's got so bad. Can you imagine that there's girls, yeah, on TikTok, in hijab, Singing Cardi B songs about oral sex in hijab. Can you imagine that? Right now, dear sisters, the hijab, the, the uniform that Allah revealed, yeah, to Aisha and Fatima and this, that, and the other, as a uniform that represents, you know, tawheed and modesty and worship. Can you imagine right now, their sisters who intentionally, they were at home, they didn't have to wear their hijab. They put the, they intentionally went to, to the cupboard, yeah, knowing it's wrong, got the got the hijab out, got the head scarf, put it on this, that and the other, and so forth, got the bay, got jilbab, whatever, this, that and the other, and so forth. And they it takes effort. It they put the music in, they they go and select the Cardi B, they go and learn the dance, they go and do that, and they put it all together, which takes effort, yeah. Knowing Allah's watching, knowing Allah's hearing, and press upload, yeah. And in the uniform of Allah, sorry, they're stuck for Allah. In the uniform of Islam that Allah revealed, you're singing about all sex and stuff? Well, like, you're cheap. You are cheap. 
And I say that all the time on Instagram and think I put in the comments of this that Wallahi, you're cheap. And I would it's clear you don't have no self-respect for yourself here. Yeah? But you can't even have some respect for a hijab. I know people, I know certain people in the streets, they will rob a bank here, yeah? but they will never do anything here. Yeah? They will never do something here yeah, that makes the dean looks bad even though they're messed up. I know certain people that that they're afraid to do things like this year when it comes to look at the deen. Like, when it comes to insulting the Quran or, you know, or even the respect they have for religious people and this, that, and so forth. How do you do that, man? How, what type of mind or what type of heart? Now, what type of heart first allows you to put the uniform of Allah, the, the uniform of Islam on? Yeah, Stakhfala. The uniform of Islam on intentionally add Cardi B's music, learn a dance for it, and do, and upload it. And idiots in the comments are saying, mashallah. Mashallah for what, you idiot? And it's sad. You, the vast majority of Muslims in the comments are praising them. Oh, Haram police are on the way. You done well, sis. Yeah, you killed it. You killed what? You smashed it. You smashed it. You killed, you killed what? The only thing you killed was your iman. And last, like... You killed what? But anyway, the point I'm trying to say is that how can we be, well, you know, the prophet, like the prophet said, all of my own may be forgiven except those who openly sin. Yeah? How can we ask for forgiveness for something? Yeah? When we upload it to platform, to public platforms. It's not just your sin, yeah? It's you want other people to like, to see you sin, yeah? And you want them to praise you for it. You can't, you're not sorry, you're not sorry, yeah? You're not sorry if you upload your sins to, to, to thingy. And the conditions of Tawbah is that one, yeah, you feel bad about the sin. Two, you repent for it. Repenting, yeah, is that you ask Allah to forgive you. Three, yeah, three is that you stop committing a sin. Now, if you do a sin, if you upload something Quran where you're dancing to Haram music, on, on TikTok or Instagram, yeah? And you can't make Tawbah if you have if you have the ability to delete that video and it's and you don't. Because what's the point of making Tawbah and people are still watching it? People's Iman is still going up. People's the music is still making people's Iman go down. The people are seeing still seeing you as a Muslim, yeah? Uh, swearing, they're still seeing you as a Muslim talking about sex and stuff like that. You haven't made Tawbah if the video is still up because you have that ability to take it down. Now, if you make a mistake and you up, no, well, it's not a mistake because you intentionally done the sin, yeah, and you made the video, yeah. But if you do it, then after a while you feel bad about it, yeah, you delete it from your account, yeah, and then someone else has uploaded it. And that's the thing, yeah. And someone else has uploaded it, yeah, and you ask them to take it down or whatever or so forth, but they won't. That's, that's out of your hands, yeah, because you can do a whole lot of sins, yeah, realize. Yeah, and then um, something wakes you up, I don't know what it is, and then you try and delete it, yeah? And you may be sincere, but the problem is now, what about if other people upload it? Now, if you've done, gone the best out of your, your way to, 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 to um, you've deleted your videos yourself and a lot of other people and so forth, like, that's, that's um, there's nothing you can do about it. But the thing is, you should never put yourself in that position in the first place. You get what I'm saying? So the whole thing is, is that, that one, if you want to like make toba for the haram you're doing on TikTok or Instagram and stuff, one, where is it? Feel bad about it. Two, ask Salah to forgive you. Three, delete all the videos that you have up up there, yeah. And what is it? Well, yeah, and and that's and 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 you know, just put a message out on your platform saying, listen, if you have a video of me doing haram, take it down. Or I did this nasty video, it went viral, you know, please delete it. Uh, Please delete it and blah 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 and so forth, yeah. Um, but the point I'm saying is that if we want to get forgiven, yeah, our good deeds have to outweigh our bad deeds. If our bad deeds outweigh our good deeds, then Allah has to have mercy on us. There's certain things we can't do for Allah to have mercy on us. Let's upload our sins to private property, to pri to public platforms, yeah, because it's a, it's showing off, it's boasting. You know what I'm saying? Like I said. You can sit them, if a person wants to sin, they shouldn't, they can sit in a mirror, they can sit on their phone in private. Why do you have to upload it in public platforms with millions? Put tags in it so the most majority of people see it, yeah? 
So you have to, to be sorry about this and you have to be ashamed of them, yeah, and you should hide them, yeah. Secondly, yeah, and also you're not a hypocrite, you're not a hypocrite, yeah, if you hide your sins. Because like the Hadith says, all of my own will be forgiven, yeah, except those who who expose them. So you're supposed to hide them. It doesn't make you a hypocrite. Secondly, yeah, um, is that if you're ashamed of something, like you shouldn't be happy if we're sinning, whatever sin we're doing, we're not happy about it. We're not we're not proud of it. You get what I'm saying? And so forth. So you like, hiding it is not being a hypocrite. You did something you're not ashamed of, that you're ashamed of, you don't show the world, yeah. Two other reasons why we shouldn't upload our sins to thingy, um, to social media. Yeah. Um I would never, yeah, even if I was like even even if I messed up myself here yeah, and I was struggling with certain haram things, yeah. I would never, yeah, want, yeah. Like I said, I'm not perfect, but I would never want something that I'm struggling with, yeah, to affect another believer. Say there's another Muslim out there, whether they're trying to obey or not, or not yeah. Generally, I think all as Muslims, yeah, we we want to. Um, we want to, where is it? We don't want to disobey Allah. I don't think any Muslim who sincerely, who sincerely reflects here yeah, and thinks about the next life and this, you know, um, wants to be an evil Muslim in the sight of Allah, yeah? And where is it? And, um, you know, affect other Muslims, yeah? That's why these other Muslims that are watching this now, yeah? And you've got lots of videos on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like this. Ask yourself now, like, ask yourself, if you really want to be forgiven by Allah, yeah, you knew before you made the video, why you made the video, and after you made the video, this was wrong, yeah, and you uploaded it. Now, even while you sleep, yeah, people are watching it and the iman is going down, yeah, yeah. So the whole thing is, is that every view that watches it, you get a sin for every look and you get a sin for every hair, yeah. So one video could give you, like, mountains of sins, like Everest, yeah. Even when you're sleeping, like you might have made a video and you forgot about it. You don't know how many other people are uploading it and watching it and this, that, and the other stuff. But the point is, you know, even on the day of judgment, we have to answer for our sins. Forget everyone, forget anyone else. We have to answer for our sins in front of Allah. How are we can explain uploading things, yeah, that lower people is more, more, it lowers people's iman. If you're someone who's got uploaded lots of uh, videos with horror music, yeah. Yeah, how are you gonna explain? You've got to not just give account for your life. You've got to give account for, and all of us in our friends either have tens or hundreds or thousands of people. Yeah, so you upload, for example, like a a, a, a haram video to whether Instagram or TikTok or Facebook. You've you've got a couple hundred people in your friends at least. Yeah, forget on your mikam your mikam. You have to answer for your life. Yeah. And then you're going to have to answer about why this person, yeah, wasn't going to disobey Allah. They, they went on their social media and something you posted, yeah, weakened them, yeah. And they started, it could be music. You could have posted music to Instagram or, or TikTok or whatever it was, yeah. And that person had no intention, yeah, of sinning. But something you uploaded, yeah, enticed them to sin. And that sin that you entice them to, they could keep on doing it for the rest of their life. Maybe they live tonight, yeah, and they and they they never did that sin before. You upload something, whether it's go to a whether it's you know zina a video, a music video with zina in it, you know, or a music video with smoke in it, or a music video with swearing it, whatever it is. And that person picks up something from that video that they never did before in their life, yeah, and they only did it because. You know, they watch the video, it looks so good, it looks so cool, and they got involved in it. Yeah, when they got involved in it, they got addicted to it. And just all their life, they never ended up stopped doing that thing. Yes, they will get they will get a sin for it because they got free will and they chose to do that haram and they're responsible. But you will get the sin also because you you posted it and it was that thing that triggered them. Yes, they have to make a choice, but you but when you posted that thing, they had to make a decision. And then something comes up on our Instagram or was it Facebook or or TikTok, whatever it is, feed you. Yeah. Now the person has to make a decision, yeah, to fight it, yeah, or engage with it. 
Yeah. So the whole thing is, is at the end of the day, is that you don't know how many people you've started listening to music. You don't know how many people, you know, you've started to start swearing. You don't know how many people, so forth. Just like if you do good, the prophet said, whoever guides someone to good will get the same reward as the person who does it without anything being decreased from that person. So you teach someone how to, you give someone a Quran, every time they read it, you get a reward. You know, you teach, you send someone a video of how to do wudu or pray, they learn how to pray, or you teach them how to pray yourself, every time they pray, you get a reward. You know what I'm saying? You teach someone how to say salam alaikum, or, you know, a certain dua, or, I don't know, man, you teach them how to do something that's good, yeah? For example, you get five Qurans, yeah? Get five Qurans, you leave them in a masjid, yeah? Every Jummah, you know, people go to the masjid, they pick up the Quran, they read Surah Tukaf, and so forth, that... Just five uh, mushafs, yeah, you leave, you leave it there, so forth, from now to the rest of your life. Every time, you know how automatic we leave when people go to Jumanah, they pick up the Quran and they read it. Imagine your skills just ching, 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 ching. You do that now, yeah, at 20 or whatever age you are. Imagine that you might have even forgot about it, yeah, you're 90 years old, you're, what was it, 50, 40, 30, whatever years old. Imagine, imagine like, the mountains of good deeds you've got. Yeah, I remember when you, yeah, like it's just crazy. So, the point is, the point is, is that, yeah, you shouldn't upload sins because you don't want to affect other people's iman. Yeah, also, and this is lastly, before I read your comments and stuff like that, and um, yeah, before I read the comments and stuff, yeah, um, you shouldn't upload Haram because you don't want to encourage other people, yeah. When you sin publicly, yeah, you see when you do haram openly, um, you encourage other people to sin openly. For example, um, the first person, yeah, the first person to, like, in public, for example, the first Muslims that came out, yeah, in public, yeah, whether it be in Muslim countries or non-Muslim countries, yeah, as boyfriend and girlfriend, I remember, when, I remember when I first took shahada yeah, and stuff. Uh, this was before social media and stuff, yeah. No one was brave enough, yeah. No brother and sister was brave enough, yeah, to openly hold hands with each other. Nobody, because an uncle or auntie might see, the, see you, yeah. And people would just have this, this thing. And people were ashamed of their sins at that time. If a brother and a sister were... Uh, like a, if if a brother was went to a bus stop and a sister was there, the brother wouldn't even wait underneath the bus stop with her. He'd do like wait at five meters away by the side and just give her her privacy and stuff like that. Now you've got people doing duets on TikTok to each other and stuff and like it's a joke, man. But anyway, the point is is that when you sin openly, when more and more people, Muslim couples, started being in public, holding hands, kissing each other. You know what I'm saying? Hugging each other, arm around each other, stuff like that. That made more people feel comfortable that, Zina, it's not that bad, man. It's not that much of a problem, you know, and so forth. You know, the first Muslim that smoked in public, yeah, and this, that, and the other, and so forth. People like Stakhfullah, this, that, and the other, and so forth. You know, but one person did it, then another person did it, and another person, and so forth. You know, there was one sister, one brother that uploaded this video first to TikTok swearing or singing with no top on or, 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 or singing about sex in hijab and stuff like that. And then people, yeah, started copying her, copying her, copying her, copying her. When you don't enjoy enough, for good bit, when no one speaks out against stuff, when there's no haram police, yeah, then people just get confident and so forth. So the whole thing is, I wonder why... I don't know how Muslims upload themselves, yeah, going nightclubs and, you know, or with their girlfriends, whether it's a vlog or anything and stuff, because what you're basically saying to people is, look, I know it's haram, but I did it and nothing's happened to me. Like, yeah, we know girlfriend's haram, but I'm going to do a video girlfriend tag, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm going to do smash and pass, you know, and so forth. When you sin openly, you give people the confidence, you know, to also sin openly. So, inshallah, if we, if, if we want to be forgiven, I don't think most of us are mu'mins, you know, inshallah. Let's try to slowly remove the haram out of our life, yeah? You know, and um, also, you know, while we're doing that, let's not expose our sins, you know? 
Let's be ashamed of our sins. Let's keep, let's not upload haram or our sin into public, making it harder for others, making our sins go viral, I uh, mean, affecting people all over the world. Imagine this, you can be in, you can be in London, yeah, and your sins can affect someone in Africa. You could be in Africa and your sins can affect someone in London. Yeah, social media has been good for us because it allows us to communicate, contact, see certain things of the scholars and ulama and people like that and so forth and so forth. But the fact that we have the ability, yeah, before there was no DMs, there was no sliding in the DMs because there was no DMs, there was nowhere to go. You went to school, college, work, wherever and you went home. There was nothing to slide into. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? There was a time when TV finished at 12 o'clock. There was no chance to sin because there was no internet. You get what I'm saying? Now we've got internet and unfortunately, we've, it's like being given our own TV studio, yeah, to, con to influence the world. And, and the sad thing is, most of us choose to use it for bad. But anyway, uh, if there's any questions, I'm going to go through the statements and stuff like that. Inshallah. Um, uh, give me a second. Uh, I'm going to read through all your questions, yeah? So give me a chance, man. Uh, I'm just trying to... See. Okay, okay, okay. Instagram, hold on. Where's the question? So hold on, give me a second, guys. Be patient with me. I'm, I'll be there in a second. Uh, okay, cool. Don't worry about it. All right, let me read through the questions on YouTube, yeah? Cool, let me read through the questions. Okay. Um, everyone's giving their salams. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Nais. alaikum, Shadi. Princess, uh, Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum salam, Ab Adam Abdullah. Manners to speak to people, it's a mannerism to speak to people when they do it. It should be, it shouldn't be in a condescent that, but uh, hold on, it, Daniel Khan, it's mannerisms to speak in someone. No, but the whole thing is to be honest with you. There's people, the people who did the sin and uploaded the thing, they knew it was haram before. After a while they did it. They could have done the sin in their mirror or on their phone in private. Why did they have to upload it in public? See, the problem is not the person advising them. Even let's say the person who advises them is not... is Because sometimes, yeah, the person who's being advised, yeah, it doesn't matter how you say it to them, they're going to get offended. Why? Because most people are praising them for doing the haram. So the whole thing is the person who uploads the thing, when someone corrects them, Rather than call the person Haram police or complain, yeah, you are in the wrong. You, the problem started with you. The problem didn't start when the person came to advise you. The problem came when you were in your room and you knew it was wrong before, you knew it was wrong while you was making it, you knew it was wrong after and you uploaded it. People are liking your video, you know, um, liking your video, you know, giving your video views, sharing it, praising you for your Haram actions. And if a brother comes up to you and all he says is fair liar, yeah? you know why he's saying that. Everyone knows you're a Muslim, you're swearing, you're, 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 you're singing about sex, you're, 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 you've got haram music in your video. How is it that you, how comes it you, you want them to have so much concern in advising you, but you have no, yeah, you want them to have concern in how they advise you, but you've got no concern in how you make Islam look? Like, get out of there, man, no. You, why, okay, if you want him to take so much care and consideration, yeah, maybe the person loves the deen, yeah, and he may see you is making Islam look bad or cheap or, or just hypocritical, yeah, and he gets angry 
yeah, and might not be the most articulate, or she might get angry and might not be the most articulate person at advising, yeah. But what caused them that to 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 speak with it was be straight and to the point or a bit harsh or whatever you want to call it, yeah. What caused it was the love of theme. That person is not the problem. The problem was the person who initially uploads upload the 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 thing, yeah, that is haram. And not only did they upload it and like they they uploaded haram and they're proud of it. Yeah. So the whole thing is, is before that person starts criticizing, if you want people to take concern, yeah, in how they address you when you're doing openly doing wrong, yeah, and you knew it was wrong before you did it, then maybe you should take concern, yeah, yeah, in the image of Islam and take concern about uploading things, yeah, that are wrong. Maybe that's what they should do rather than and so forth. Now, before social, like, I believe that all of us, yeah, like me myself, I'm not a mu'min. I'm not someone who worships Allah with Isan. Allah says, you know, I want to get there, inshallah. But, you know, most of us, um, most of us, I think if we were to die right now, yeah, we might not be confident that our good deeds that way are bad deeds, yeah? You know, so the goal should be to be, you know, is to remove all the... Haram out of our lives, haram out of our lives, major sins out of our lives, and get to a stage where we're not committing any major sins, so that when we go before Allah on the day of judgment, our good sin, our good deeds outweigh our bad deeds, and we go straight into jail without touching Allah. I don't know about you guys, but I myself, I'm not confident if I die right now that my good deeds outweigh my bad deeds. In fact, I'm more likely sure that my bad deeds outweigh my good deeds. Yeah, but there's a couple of things that we can do, inshallah as we're trying to remove everything Quran out of our life because when you do one good deed, it's written down as 10 or it can be written down as 700 if Allah wants. If you do a bad deed, it's written down on form. It's written down as one. But if we get rid of all the haram, you know, and the, the things we only are doing, maybe our dislike, yeah, to Allah, inshallah, if we're not doing anything haram in our lives, inshallah, um, hopefully we get we go straight to jail and not touch the law, yeah? But there's some things, you know, that the Prophet has told us that can also help Allah to have the mercy, for Allah to have rahmah on us, mercy on us, so that we, so that um, our sins are, our, our sins are forgiven by Allah, yeah? So, true, uh, true, uh, true, uh, JD Prince says, I have changed my SM and still cleaning it more and more. Okay. Um, that was my first thought when I started my channel. I'm not sure if positive I'm lifting after I die. It still remains, inshallah. Inshallah. Whoever owns the studio for light indeed is a pie of the other hearts. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know if there's any other questions or something. But anyway, the, that's the point. Of, yeah. Alhamdulillah. So that's it, basically. Unless you've got any other questions, I'm going to go. If you've got any other questions, like I said, if you're like, a salam, super packs, uh, nine, just that, and the other so forth. Uh, inshallah, I'm going to contact you, bro. Um, I lost my phone in it, and I only just got it back. I'm, I'm, I have to contact a bunch of people. Inshallah, I'll get back to you. But yeah, unless anyone's got any other questions, inshallah, or statements, inshallah, I'm going to call it a day. Um, I don't know what's going on with Instagram, it's not showing the chat, there's normally a lot of people in there. But um, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so that's it. No more questions, yeah. Like I said, if anyone don't like the setup, the, the lighting, the this, that and the other, cool, then help fund it, then inshallah, you know. Um, making youtube videos and stuff like that and making these videos you know the outgoings are more than the incoming so if you want to support my paypal should be in the description and stuff and cool help someone out rather than just complain yeah cool all right assalamu alaikum warahmatullah uh we're back at enough